Hey guys, I'm out here with my wife Sam and we're finishing up a project that we started a couple months ago. Uh, we're building a privacy fence so that we can have our dogs securely in the backyard without running off. I figured this would be a good opportunity for you to show, uh, see how I build privacy fences. So I've, I've done quite a few of these over the years and this is my favorite way, but I think I'd show you, I wanted to show you the math of why I believe this is my favorite way. So what I do is I clamp a picket to the top post and now when I go along my fence I can just hold the picket up and then nail it um, and I don't have to make a measurement or hold any string lines or anything like that and all of my pickets come out nice and flat on the top so this is my math proof of why I think this is the best way so if you take um, six inches or sorry 12 inches times six feet 72 inches, right? So if you take 72 inches and you give an inch and a half for compensation below your fence, it'll uh, make it so that if you hit any high spots in the dirt, that uh, it has a little bit of cushion for those. So when you do that, you get out to uh, 73 and a half inches. So that should be where the top of our picket sits right here. And then when you have 73 and a half inches, now we can find out how tall this top two by four needs to be by taking the 73 and a half inches and subtracting six inches for it, which is the width of the picket, and we get 67 and a half inches. So now we have the top of our picket, right? So uh, the only other dimension that we really want to find out is how far the, uh, sorry, not the picket, but the two by four, we want to find out how high the bottom two by four should be, right? So uh, now we can think about it. Well, let's get it six inches off the ground, right? Since we're gonna be six inches down from the top and we're gonna add that uh, inch and a half that we compensated for earlier. And now we're gonna have seven and a half inches for our bottom, right? And if we have seven and a half inches at the bottom and we add three and a half inches for the width of our two by four, now we have 11 inches. So the top of our bottom two by four should be 11 the bottom should be at seven and a half inches, right? We have that right here. Our top one, we said 67 and a half inches, right? So 67 and a half inches minus three and a half, which is the width of our two by four, comes to 64 and a half, uh, 64 inches, right? So our top post should be 67 and a half inches above the ground on the top and 64 inches above the ground on the bottom. So now we have our middle, right? So we wanna find out the best spacing for our middle, which should be right dead center in between these two posts, right? So how do we do that? Well, we have 64 inches at the uh, bottom of our top post. We have 11 inches at the top of our bottom post. So we take 64 inches minus 11 inches for the bottom height, we get 53 inches. So if we take 53 inches now and divide that by two, we get 26 and a half inches. So 26 and a half inches should be the spacing from here to here, right dead center in the middle. So we don't want that number. We wanna take that number and then we want to uh, compensate, right? So what we do over here is after we've uh, taken 26 and a half inches, we'll add 11, which is the height of the bottom. We'll get 37 and a half. Um, so with 37 and a half inches, that's from here to the middle and we want to add and subtract 1.75 inches. So 1.75 inches is going to be half of three and a half inches. So if we go 1.75 up and 1.75 down, now we have the top and the bottom of this middle post and what we get is 39.25 inches for the top and 35.75 inches for the bottom. So now we have all three of our numbers. We have 11 and a half inches for the top of our bottom two by four, seven and a half inches for the bottom of our bottom two by four, 39 and a half, uh, quarter inches for the top of our middle two by four, 35.75 inches for the bottom of our middle two by four, and then 67 and a half inches for the top of our top two by four and 64 inches for the bottom of our top two by four. So with those, now you should have appropriate clearance from the ground on your bottom post and clearance so that you can use this method to clamp the picket, put the two by four up, find the top of the guide picket, grab your nail gun, 
And then you can use your nail gun without measuring to sink the picket into place. And they all come out nice and flush when you're done. So that's, that's my proof on why I believe this is the best method, best method to build a privacy fence.